Hola YouTube and ho ho ho, it is Christmas time. I am Domino and welcome to episode 66 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode, we took on uh, Kahuna Hapu as well as Gladion here in Mount Lanakila. If you want to check that out, do click the icon up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to be making our way through Mount Lanakila and depending on how much time it takes, we might cut in the next episode, the, the first member of the Elite Four. Not a hundred, ooh. Not hundred percent sure. But anyway, if you're excited for today's episode, and if you are a member of the Domination, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you want to become a member, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well. Let's start off with a team recap. As I said in the last episode, I wanted to catch our new friend and... It took a long time. I was very surprised at how long it took. Um, and actually, he's right in the middle of the party. So, first up, we have our Oblivion on level 52, Kamo'o, um, holding the leftovers with Dragon Claw, Sky Uppercut, Flash Cannon, and Clanging Scales. We have Frisco, our level 52, Oracorio, holding the Sharp Beak with Air Slash, Revelation Dance, Teeter Dance, and Hurricane. We have Buttons, our level 51, Decidueye. With, uh, holding the Decidium Z with Leaf Blade, Energy Ball, Spirit Shackle, and Shadow Ball. And newest to our team, we have Fruit Punch, our level 49 Sneasel. The mascot himself is here. He has, at the moment, Slash, Snatch, Punishment, and Ice Shard. That's some pretty bad moves, if I do say so myself. Anyway, we'll talk about him in a minute. We have Aru Candy Mono level 51 Araquanid with uh, holding the Watery MZ with Leech Life, Scald, Crunch, and Lunge. And lastly, we have Brock, the level 51 Alolan Golem with Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, Thunderbolt, and Rock Blast. Now, as I said, we did just catch Fruit Punch, with, which means our favorite Jet did take a uh, did take a break. He headed on into the PC. Um, he was great for us. He did a whole lot of defensive. His uh, his sand attacks were very important in a lot of battles. But, especially with our Komo'o, who came holding a Razor Claw, it's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So we're going to be leading with Fruit Punch today. And we're going to, uh, we're going to hopefully evolve him. Shouldn't take, oh my god. Anyway, shouldn't take too long. But it took me a really long time to find it. I actually found two Sneasels before that had a minus speed nature, which just annoyed me. It doesn't matter. We're in game. It really doesn't matter. Um, but it just annoyed me. So I ultimately decided, eh. So I wound up catching another one. But, <clears throat> you know, walking in here and seeing that Victory Road as Pokemon or has Pokemon trainers is weird and I wasn't expecting it so it kind of throws off the perfect that would have been uh, if this could have been an episode with like if this could have been the first episode of the Elite Four like that would have been that would have been perfect uh, let's see how much Slash does Okay, Slash does one. Oh, that was a... Oh, I'm dead. <sighs> well, so much for getting him leveled up. <clears throat> but, we're going to go ahead and get through this today. And actually, if it's anything like the first game, like the original Sun and Moon, uh, we also have a rival battle. <clears throat> But my goal is going to be to grind up and get everybody to level uh, level 55 before... Whoops. Is it a dark type? It is, right? It's Psychic Dark. I don't know why I didn't use Hurricane if I was scared about its typing. Well, that's why. Because I trust my Pokemon. Now, since the last time I recorded, if you remember, I had started to get sick. Aw, oh, come on. Anyway, I had started to get sick, and so I wound up not being able to record for a couple days, which annoyed me because we were so close to being done, and now I have to... Oh my goodness. 
Now I've got to like get back in the mood here, but then I've got to grind. I should have just... Oh! No, you know what it was? It was that freaking Sneasel that took me so freaking long to catch. Sneasel took forever to catch. Like, he's nowhere near as common as he was in, uh, in regular Sun and Moon. Like, you can find Glalie, Absol... I feel like there's one more. Uh, but Sneasel is not as common as he was. Sneasel used to be like every other encounter over here. And just because I was looking for him, he decided not to show up. But I do think this is the team we're going to rock out with. I know we had talked maybe about replacing Oracorio, maybe about replacing Araquanid, but this is my team, dang it. And I like my team. Uh, and this hat? I mean, you notice that this hat is different than the one I've been wearing. But do you see how bright this hat is? Do you see it? You can barely see the hat. It's so bright right here. Anyway. Let's see if we can not have to go heal up after every single battle. So our goal is to take out all these trainers in this episode. See, of course Sneasel shows up. Watch it be a level 50 and not let me run. Okay. So our goal is to take out all the trainers today. Um, if there is a rival battle, that might take up the whole next episode before I do grinding. We'll have to find out. But we probably won't leave Sneasel in. We'll probably switch him out. We should have a Pokemon for everything now, I think. Genotic? Aren't you like Ice Poison? I'm gonna go ahead and go for Ice Shard. But yeah, if you know anything about the channel, you know that Sneasel is our mascot. Thanks, Sap. What does that do? I just, I just can't. Now I'm asleep. <laughs> Stuff like this always happens when I, uh, when I record after working a long day. Thank you, Frisco. Please hit Hurricane Frisco. This is going to be a very testy episode. I can already tell. I'm not healing you. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna kill this thing with Hurricane. Then I'll heal you. Nope. I'm not healing you. Uh, how did Hurricane not kill a Shenotic? Oh, 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 oh. It dropped my special attack twice. Never mind. Um. It, it, it did. It dropped my special attack twice, so that's that's at least understandable. But this should take it out, right? Thank you. That's what I want to see. Cleffable. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly prepared for a Cleffable right now. My hope is that I'll have Poison Jab on Revile by the time we enter the Elite Four. But like I said, I'm going to train everybody up to level um, 55, and then I'll part scale whatever I need to. That does not. I'm going to get... Oh my god, you use Minimize. Where is Negative Vibes? Someone call Negative Vibes, please.
Don't use Moonblast. Double slap. Okay. Gotcha. I thought I thought I was in trouble. I thought you were gonna Moonblast me. Alright, let's go for I guess we'll just go for Flash Cannon again. Alright, thank you, Oblivion, for doing your job, unlike a certain bird mascot did for us. This hat is actually not very comfortable to wear. I'm not gonna lie. Did I switch straight out or did I leave leave or did I leave Sneasel in? You know, Frisco, you're costing me money that I would be using to purchase Komo'o armor, and I don't appreciate that. Is this the way to go? Exactly. I guess this goes this way. This way, obviously. But what's this way? I would love to find a shiny in here. Well, that's not true. I guess I took I, I have a shiny Sneasel that we caught on stream before Alolan Vulpix ruined our shiny hunt. Also, I like how fast we are now. Like, I just moved that. Would you take on a trainer that ran at you being carried by a Machamp? Honest question, would you? I wonder if Victory or it's not a Victory Road. I wonder if this is going to be too long for us to do in one episode. I hadn't really thought about that possibility. That maybe... This is an actual victory road now. Oh, that's not what I did. I was just hoping to get on, record a couple quick episodes. I should have used Energy Ball, but it was still that a blow. I just wanted to record at least one episode. I wanted to get myself ready to grind for the Elite Four. <clears throat> Is this a throwback to Gen 1? Uh, what's this one? Okay, or I don't. Fine. Offer a max elixir, but in gen 1 there's those like you have to push the rocks and there's the two items It just seems like something they would do Like seeing a, that Drampa was the other one I was thinking of. Because Drampa, I caught a Drampa. So it's not even hype anymore to see a Drampa. I mean, is the item just up there? Okay, it was just showing an item that was up here. That's kind of silly. Stalin has his nose to the ground, sniffing, and he's sniffing this way, and he smells something that's up there. Okay. I mean, I, I could have guessed that there was an item there. This place is huge! And there's way too many Pokemon here. And there's no point in putting up a repel because I have a level 49 up. And it's just gonna. <sighs> Maybe we'll make this into a two parter. I don't think episode 70 will wind up being an hour of power. I think we'll have to do like 
episode 71. Because I want the champion battle to be where we do an hour of power. And I'm not happy about that. I'm really not. I wish that I, I wish that it was... <clears throat> I wish that it was... Uh, like, on the 10. Like we've been doing all series. Roll out. I don't know why I thought Sneasel could take a lick of tongue, but it come all like Oblivion just doesn't care. Oblivion doesn't care who you are. He's just gonna smack you up. Also, before I go in the Elite Four, I've gotta have a better move. What did you see? What was that? It almost looked like retaliate, but I don't think that was retaliate. But like, we, we've got to have a better fighting move before we go in, into the Elite. Our team's got to have upgrades. What do we got next? Udra? Do I think we could take a Gudra? Do I think we could take at least one hit from a Gudra? Test it. That thing looks so scary. Aqua Tail. Alright, so I'm going to predict it using Aqua Tail again. Come in here, we'll use Dragon Claw and kill it. Power Whip. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm not too worried about dragons. I feel like Oblivion can handle anything that's in front of them. That should be a lot of experience. Okay. But as you can see, this is not the same victory road that we once had. I would imagine the next battle will be... I'm supposed to go? No. Poison Jab. Where is it? Where is it? Where's Poison Jab? Ooh. I can also give it to Komo'o. Instead of the rock move. I can also give it to Arukenimon. Instead of like, my attack is better than my special attack. I'm gonna do poison jab instead of, instead of, uh, yeah. Should I just go ahead and give poison jab here as well? You know what, I'm gonna do it. I don't need lunge. What is lunge gonna do for me? Yeah, I don't need lunge. That, was that stupid? I just taught Poison Jab to three Pokemon. Jeez. Of course, the group chat's blowing up and I can see all the notifications out of the corner of my eye. All right. Okay, I've had enough. What, what, what are they even talking about? Is it even relevant? Stupid. It's absolutely not relevant. I know, I know people out there know the struggles of being in a group chat where they talk about irrelevant things. Now, hold on. If I come down here, don't act like I couldn't go that. I can't go that way. I'm just wasting time. Oh my gosh. Glalie, I used to like you. I used to like Glalie, but he's just being annoying right now. So let's continue on. I 
I like this. I like that they made, that they did more with this area. Instead of it just being boring. Like, there was no point to this area in the regular side of the room. I'm so glad they did more with this. And I, I've heard that there's... More stuff, like there's more at post game, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, did I speak too soon? It's considered the midpoint. Oh shoot! I feel like I should be. I feel like I should be at least slightly concerned. No, not you. You don't say. I found a full restore right before I walk out to these guys. Alright, I'm not actually going to... Two black belts at once. This is going to be a head-on battle. You understand? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Barring partners. I like it. I like it a lot. Yanfu and beware. Oh crap. Alright, good. Frisco is here. Frisco is here. Alright, Frisco. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap like this. And Frisco is going to use. Well, we can just use Revelation Dance on the Beware. I wonder if that'll kill it. I guess we're gonna find out if Revelation Dance will kill. I don't think it will. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at how bright this is. Oh my gosh, every time I look over and see it. Wild. Fruit Punch goes to 50. And we predicted the high jump kick. Oh, come on. Come on, you gotta get out of here with that. You just, you just tear them. You're just terrible. Um. Oh, you have a Machamp. That's scary. Let's we'll see how strong Revelation Dance really is, though. How strong is it really? actually really strong. Buttons is stronger than Machamp. Let's go. I didn't think Buttons was stronger than anybody. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh, it's time. I think it's time at least. Wait. Nighttime, doesn't it? Hold on. Hold on. This episode just should have never been recorded. This episode should have never been recorded. Nighttime holding the razor claw. That's okay. All right, well, we can still train. We can still train, and then I'll just have to do some grinding. I'll just have to do some grinding, uh, like I said, off screen. And I'll have to do it, at, I'll have to change my game. And oh gosh. Um I don't want Sneasel to die. I, I guess we go here? And then we use Hurricane here. No, I probably should have just used Revelation Dance. That probably would have been enough. 
Yeah, see, that would have taken out, and this is going to take out the Kerbomina. Our Ukenimon grows to 52. I'm not going to have to do that much grinding off screen. I probably don't need to do grinding, but we've been so close so many times that it won't hurt me. It won't hurt to do the grinding. Just up to 55. Oh. Is that Sky Attack's animation? That was wild. That was... That was something. That was something. Pangoro. More like Pangono. Not with those eyes. You ain't seeing nothing. All you're gonna see is death. Get back in your Pokeball. Right now. Right now. Frisco is a monster, okay? If you ever doubt Oracorio's power, hmm, there are now gonna be two Let's Plays on YouTube. Not of this game, but of the original Sun and Moon and then this one, where Oracorio was put on full display. Oh, look at how cool this is. My brain tells me to split up the episodes. So here's the logic here. I'm just gonna think out loud. You know what, forget the fourth wall. I'm just gonna think out loud. <gasps> Hold on, can't see it. I don't think you can. Anyway, um, here's breaking the fourth wall. The champion battle would already be in episode 71, so what's the difference with it being a 71 or 72? Let's go ahead and call it an episode right here because this screen looks amazing. In the next episode, we're going to finish up all the trainers in here and get ourselves ready to take on the Elite Four. So if there is a rival battle, we'll be doing it in the next episode. If you found a way, if you just want to be nice and... Just hit the like button down below. And if you're part of the domination, if you want to be a part of the domination, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We'll see you for the next episode, Mount Lanakila Part 2. Whenever that comes out, I'm all over the place. Until then, have a blessed day.